you know what I'm really scared about is if the wakeboarders get too close to shore, they may use some people on the shore as, <laughs> as bonking items. Well, or they might use the pier that you're hanging out on and get the camera wet. There's Drew, just goes off and does a little 180 right off that slide rail. Drew McGuckin is first on the water behind the sea -Doo. You know, the top four finishers in today's freestyle world championships get to ride behind the sea -Doo. And there's extra prize money involved and they obviously get some extra TV time. And the expression session for these guys, you know, really draws back to the roots of skateboarding, even inline skating nowadays. Drew McGuckin pulling a nice little 180 off that slide. And Drew is a great skateboarder, by the way, excellent. And he's also a good snowboarder, actually competed in Colorado at the Board Fest. Scoring a little different, 53.31 in this expression session. His teammate, Parks Bonifay, awaiting his turn on the water. But before he goes out, team number one, Jeremy Kovac, will make his way around the expression session course. Look at this double up right here. The sea -Doo making a double up wake. Jeremy going for a front oh. flip off it. Now that's a lot of air to get behind that sea -Doo wake. We'll let Kovac get a chance to get up and out of the water. We'll return with more competition in the expression session next. For once, Jeremy Kovac has gotten it back together, making another attempt. Oh. And what's that? Jeremy looks like he's a little bit loose. He's just not really focused right now because he can nail that trick, and he just kind of goes down. 26.71 points for Kovac. His partner, Dean Lavelle, has got a little work cut out for him. Back to Parks Bonifay from team number two. McGuckin already posting just over 50 points. Yeah, Parks off the slide rail. Gets a good five feet of a slide right there. Parks Bonifay for his birthday, and because he won a lot of money this year, his mom bought him a skate ramp. It's a really nice looking half pipe, and they've been using it. Like one of those big real ones they use at the X Games, right? Yeah, a killer one. And so Parks has been practicing on it, and he's getting a lot of that skate style going. And it looks like Parks' run, in combination with Drew's, is going to put up a pretty big number for Dean. Look how he uses his slide rail, just brings it back to the way it was going. Doesn't go fakey, but still a nice slide. Parks doing a little dredging here at Cranes Roost Park in Altamont Springs. Bonifay, a total score of 90. That puts some uh, pretty big pressure on Dean Lavelle, who's got to put it together. Jeremy Kovac, his partner, only posted 26 points. Dean's going to have to get the sea to run of his career right here. Oh. Just let's go of the handle. Bye-bye. Right there. <laughs> Dean probably overwhelmed from his victory in the world <laughs> in the freestyle portion. Not really taking it too seriously today. Not even a contest today. McGuck and Bonifay, the clear winners, 143 points. Kovac and Lavelle. And for Dean Lavelle.